Hi guys and welcome back to episode 3 of Hair Dryer Treatment on Ladies in Red. Thank you all so much for joining me again. If you don't know by now, this is how it works. So firstly, I choose three people who I believe deserve the hair dryer treatment, which if you didn't know, that means basically they're talking to, so they've done something bad, almost like a fail of the week. So three people get the hair dryer treatment and then I choose one positive. And at the moment, obviously we're looking at the Euros. So number one, well, to be fair, this week I've got to be honest, I kind of struggled, but I'm going to go with one of the earlier incidents. And it has to go to Immobile. Immobile, what on earth was he doing? Obviously, he's down on the floor, he's rolling around, he's screaming in pain. Italy go on and score, and boom, he's cured. He jumps up. That's disgusting behaviour, in my opinion. I mean, rolling around. The, you know what happens in football, the antics and whatnot. But to jump up the way that he did the second that Italy scored, he was cured immediately. It was embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. So, yeah, Immobile, for his theatrics and the way that he was rolling around and screaming in pain... That one for me deserves a hairdryer treatment. Get up, get on with the game. Stop play acting, please, please. Now up next, Belgium, as you may be aware, number one rated team in the world, number one ranked, very good squad. Martinez as manager, it just doesn't seem to get them to click. And apparently he's keeping his job on after the tournament. But yet again, they've bottled it. Belgium have bottled it. They fell at the, the obviously, is it the quarterfinals of when I that name? So they fell at that hurdle, just not doing well, not playing overly well. Lukaku looks on, obviously on fire. Torgan Hazard's had a good tournament as well. But key individuals, as a team, collectively, they just do not seem clicked. And I think that Martinez deserves the hairdryer treatment for that. I mean, he's got the number one ranked team in the world and he's won absolutely nothing nothing with them. Disappointing tournament again, yet again. But like I say, rumours are he keeps his job, which I think is a bit shocking. But Martinez stays in his job, even though yet again, Belgium have bottled it. So number two for me is Roberto Martinez for his performance as manager of Belgium in another major tournament. Now in at number three, and I feel kind of bad because I've already used this player once, but Morata, doing Morata things again. So a lot of people playing that could do so clip on Twitter saying that he can be really, really good and he can be really, really shit. And I think that sums Morata up, to be fair. He came on, super sub, scores the equaliser, fantastic goal, really composed, calm finish. But then obviously, unfortunately, the penalty, that was misspelled to him. And he wasn't the only one to miss the penalty, so I'm going to get that in there as well. But Morata steps up, misses the key penalty and obviously sends Italy through to the final to face either England or Denmark. Fingers crossed this England, we'll find out tonight. But yeah, that Morata penalty has to be on there for the hairdryer treatment. And that, you know, he's gone from hero to villain. I feel really sorry for him. He came on, impacted the game. He also missed a very good chance as well. But like I say, his finish was calm and composed, but then he's gone to miss the vital penalty. Key moments, big players, you want them to step up. And unfortunately, yet again, Morata has kind of stumbled at that, hasn't he? Sorry, Morata. I, am, I really am sorry, but you had to make it. Now, Italy... I've been mentioned as a negative in terms of Immobile and the antics. However, they're also my positive this week, making it through to the final. I think they have been the most consistent team throughout the tournament, in my opinion. Solid at the back, going forwards, exciting as well. Um, yeah, Italy, I think they're the most balanced team. Mancini's doing a fantastic job. The morale team, sorry, I mean, they're Spinozola, probably their best player of the tournament, got injured. You saw immediately with the celebrations, they were holding up his shirt, wearing his shirt, and they were chanting his name. Just a really good morale, a really good happy camp. I mentioned it on my channel about England's camp, seeing him really happy. I think Italy seem exactly the same. So yeah, for them to have the tournament, no one really mentioned them beforehand. And to be as consistent as they have been, and like I say, for me being the best team, the most consistent team in the tournament, and to make it into the final, Mancini, the squad, they deserve a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of credit. So yeah, to Italy, they're my positive this week. So there you have it, guys. That is my third hair dry treatment. I hope you've enjoyed it yet yeah, again. Please leave me feedback in the comments. Drop a like on the video, of course. And if you are new, please hit that sub button as well. I really do appreciate your support, guys. Come on, England. Let's beat Denmark and let's beat the Italians in the final. But we've got to make it there. We've got to make it to the final. Come on, England. Come on, let's bring it home. Take care guys. See you soon.